Welcome back. Um, so, if you're watching this, then obviously you took my advice from last time not to let a head crab get near you. And your head remains as it was. With your very succulent and juicy green still in your skull. Now, let's have a look. There's, a, there's dudes up here, so I think we've got to deal with them. Well, that could have gone better, I guess. Um, let's see. Ah, oh, more up there. Just wonderful. Ah, missed. I wonder what they're gonna do. Oh, good grief, that's a tank. That is a tank. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> it just blew out that wall. Right, okay. There's a guy there. Sir, I hear something. He hears something, does he? Oh, yes! Arrow to the knee. We got heavy fire here. Take out the tank. Got one more shot. Ah, oh, we got it! If I were those soldiers, I wouldn't stick around. I've blown up a tank. You will not stand a chance against me. Good. You were asking for that. You do not mess with the Freeman. So, yes. Um, last episode, we talked a bit about uh, what to do after Black Mesa. Uh, we thinking about Fallout. Also, there's a, uh, a baseball team that uh, the Evil Olive suggested, the San Francisco Giants. Which sounds about right. Oh, good grief. That was a lot of fire. That was heavy. And this guy still shooting at me. Oh, not for much longer. Some rest by two. That's nice. Where are those shots coming from? I think it's still from the APC. Oh, no, it's from you. Well, how does it feel having a uh, an arrow stuck in your abdomen? Not nice, is it? Well, then leave me alone. Okay, so I don't think that's the way. Let's have a look down. Oh, alright, there's a great big skull and crossbones there. So I don't think that's exactly where we want to go, but we might not have a choice later on. Oh, crumbs. That is a big gun. You're shooting at a wall. You're not exactly going to... Well, you did get me then, but only glancing shot. How many bullets have you wasted? <laughs> the taxpayer is not going to be happy about that. Oh, batteries in the box. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That is wunderbar. Right, so. Oh, oh, we can get through here. It's nice. Great big blast door closes. And there's more copper there from Great Britain. How wonderful. You know, it's good to see the British industry spreading out across the world. But saying that, Black Mesa was the end of the last decade. Well, not, not the last decade. It was the end of the last century, strictly speaking. No, I don't know. Was it 2000, 2001? So, start of this de uh, last decade. Uh, and it'll probably all be done in China now. But never mind, you know. We were doing that back then. So, yeah. Practicing the swing abilities with, um, with the crowbar last time. Hopefully again today. Wedgehog, San Francisco Giants, the utter noob of the class, what have you. 
Okay, that was a big explosion. Do I really want to know what's going on? Okay, that looked like an alien gunship. And that was a Harrier jump jet going after it. That was cool. But, yeah. Landmines. Where was he? There he was. Goodbye, Vortigaunt. So I guess we're going to have to be a bit more careful about where we tread. Tread lightly. What's in here? Can we go in, a, go in there? No, we can't. Never mind. Okay. Try again. Hmm. It exploded. Yeah, that is kind of worrying. Bunch of trip mines. Let's deal with that. Come on. Fantastic. Got them. Hold on a minute. Is this a section where the snipers were? Please. Somebody help me. I'm dying now. Yeah. Sniper. Got him. Said it himself. Oh, he got me. <laughs> he was having a little picnic. He's got Pepsi, Walkers, Hoppets. It's not a bad way to spend the apocalypse. I always say if the world was coming to an end, you'd want to get yourself a deck chair. Take it to the roof of your house with, I don't know, some kind of nice drink and just watch the world come to an end. He has got the right idea. I commend that man. Oh, wow. I don't think they want me getting anywhere near here. Still, I don't care what they think. The world's a slightly safer place. I say slightly. Oh, good. That's an electric fence, isn't it? Oh, great. Looks like we're going under. There's something horrible, isn't there? I can feel it tingling in my... Where was he? Ah, so there. Can't quite get him. Still want to get round this corner. Power off. That was relief. You're not getting me. No, sir. Do we have any left in the crossbow? Camera's looking at. Oh, it's not looking at me. That was the back of it. Okay, never mind. What exactly is he shooting at? So I don't think we can shoot him. Which is a bit of a bummer. Oh, hello. You're heading for the Lambda Complex. Aren't you? Yeah. I was heading there myself until I wound up here and, well, I simply lost my nerve. Take one look through that door and you'll see what I mean. I'm going to wait out the catastrophe in here. If you intend to go on, then I beg of you, for all our sake, proceed with extreme caution. Right, so that looked like a lot of explosives. Um. Buy some more explosives. There we go. <coughs> There's only one strike and then I hit it. Okay, so. Save here. Oh. The whole screen goes white. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, we can try that again. I suppose. Can't take that with us. 
Ooh. Be so careful here. Come on. There we go. No, no, silly head crab. Not yet. Right. Oh, joy of joys, more lasers. I think the screen went white then when it went off as well, which isn't exactly normal. Could mean that there's some kind of a bigger explosive. And just save again. Oh, yeah, it went white. I've got a feeling that that might have been more than just a conventional bomb. Whoa. Okay. Let's have a look. Very creepy sounding music all of a sudden. Come on, they're asking for trouble with all of these. Uh, I don't know where we're meant to go. It's just potential death around every corner. Here at that. Oh, poo. Hop over this. I don't think that shutter works. Oh, it does. What's in here? Uh, that? Is that open? Oh. Well, an alternate route into that room. That looks like a missile sort of shell thing. It's that thing that set off... that blew up in front of Tony Stark that time in Iron Man. That's why he's got the arc reactor in his chest. Oh right, okay, so if we've learned anything from Tony Stark, it's we don't do that. I don't want to have to be locked. I mean, Yinsen was cool, Yinsen was awesome. I just don't want to have to have my chest cavity opened up and a big magnet stuck in the middle of it. Whoa. Hold on, those are huge looking missiles. This is the weapon storage complex, and some bright spark has filled it with these flaming trip mines. That's just what we want, isn't it? Whoa. Right, save here. There's some quite suspenseful music as well. Ah, man! No! Once again, no good at parkour. Ooh, I'm saying that, that was kind of nifty. Charge up. Though, to be fair, when we've got six health, uh, a 75% suit charge might not make that big of a difference. Oh no, 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 we didn't want to do that. Oh crap. <laughs> oh no. You could be doing so much better. Keep falling off as well. I don't want to fall off. What's in here? Anything of use? So he's been examining this missile. That's really no use, is it? I mean, actually, it might be. Maybe he was trying to build a, an arc reactor or something. Because he did get his palladium from that thing. Okay, so. God, bring this up. Save again. Come on. Please don't kill me. Oh, that was close. Oh! 
Wait, what the hell's this thing? Oh, it's the bee gun from earlier. Oh, God. No, he isn't, is he? Oh. Oh, no. Oh! 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 Well, one thing can be said about Gordon. He's not afraid to get his hands dirty, is he? That poor gun sort of thing. It, its farts will never make a sound again. Oh. Uh, I'm reeling from that. Get these guys off me. What? Oh, for crying out loud! You... What's up? Got a revolver. Fair enough. Oh, we've got rapid fire. That's great. These are actually kind of effective. I mean, I remember it from the uh, original Half-Life being really, really crap. <laughs> but it seems to kill them if you, you know, you hold it down on rapid fire. That's nice. I'm going to be using this a bit from now on. Very, very nice indeed. Hey, <laughs> at least we're out of the room with all the weapons and the trip mines. Though, let's be honest, something's going to fall in there and set all of that off. It's inevitable, really. I do wonder whose idea it was to do that. Probably Gabe Newell's, just to be a troll. Okay. Whoa! 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 It's in the back of the truck. Okay. That doesn't work. There's like an alien manta ray sort of weapon. And a buttload of Harrier jump jets just blow them up. Right. Whoa. Oh, the great. We've got another tank, haven't we? Or at least an APC. Right, let's get up here. Some safe refuge from it. Okay, we, we got shot. A mild peppering of bullets as usual. <sighs> we could really do, uh, do better than this. Oh, forgot about you, didn't I? You silly little thing, you. Right, where's the bee gun? Right, we rode out the explosions. Just about. Run away from the bees. Whoa. And we're dead. <sighs> Deary me. We, we need a break. I'd say after this, Gordon would want a holiday, and I'd say he deserves one. Okay, so... Sniper. At least! Damn it. Right, so let's not move from our position here. Let's get the sniper. Let's miss the sniper. Let's let that explode in our face. Right, we're gonna die now, aren't we? <laughs> yep. Back of the head. Right through the spinal column. And, um, no more brain. I really have to work on my grenade skills. Oh, this is getting painful. This really is. Okay, grenade. In the hole. Got him. Excellent. Reload the shotgun. Like so. Pop down. Ah, oh, man. <sighs> I was saying about blood pressure going up. Yep, yeah, that's happening again. 
crying out loud. Hey, everyone, look, I'm here. Go on, shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Kill me. So when I tell them to kill me, they take the, the time doing it. This is the longest I've lasted, and I went out for them just to blow me to pieces. Oh, for good, good grief. Is gunk who the best way to do it? Might be, actually. Come on. Come on! Show your face! <laughs> that is the most ridiculous thing ever! I should be dead. There should be nothing left of me. Freeze! Oh, hello. Finally, someone who ain't trying to kill me. You ain't trying to kill me too, right? No, I'm not going to kill you, don't worry. Okay. Well, from the looks of it, you got an eye for the finer things in life. Check this out. The finer things, you say? Oh my goodness, this is like Christmas. Here it is, Doc. Christmas and your birthday. <laughs> what can I say? I got a oh, chase. brilliant. So what have we learned? <laughs> what have we learned so far? We've learned that the best way to do it is not to care about your life. Just run in and blow everything up. Ah, depleted uranium. The only thing missing is power. Nope, I take that back. It looks like there's power over here. Cleaning supplies. It's like 75% charge in the uh, the HEB suit. Wonderful. Alright, so. I think we're going to leave it here. <laughs> yeah. That was impressive. Okay, so. As I say, we've learnt that if we want to deal with our foes, the best way to do it is to go in gung-ho and probably kill ourselves. But we love that on the off chance that we survive, then hooray for us. And if you do that, then there's quite often a uh, quite a nice reward waiting for you at the end of it. Once again, thanks for watching and see you next time. Take care.